Coach Roper. First off, where, where's the other where's the other half of the compound he's, coaching? He's running around crazy. Thomas is sitting there. I think he fell asleep. And Bedard's he's an old man. He's definitely asleep in the stands by now. <laughs> All right, day one. First off, NHSCA's. I thought huge coming out party right. for the state of Georgia. Yeah. How do you feel, compound state of Georgia and the South is doing here so far? Oh, uh, we're doing great, man. It's I tell you, it's 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 tough being a, a week later. Um, some of our guys are really training freestyle, and it's hard to get them to make. That commitment that well, coach, I've been working on part their defense for two weeks. It's kind of hard to convince them to come up here. So we got a really young group, and we're taking our lumps and really struggling on bottom. Man, I tell you, we're freaking getting Pennsylvania tight waist barred to death. So we got some work to do, but our older guys are doing real well. We got two guys that are in the quarter, so we're doing pretty good, man. I'm proud of the way they're competing. They're getting after it. The rule change, you know, obviously the rule change is huge from last week to this week. Right. The riding time, you know, there there, there is a goal there. You know, sure. get the minute of riding time, and you're in Pennsylvania. Absolutely. What do you tell your guys now about you know getting on the bottom? getting out off the bottom. Well, I tell you, man, it's, that's one of the reasons we come up here. Um, we stress mat wrestling so much in our club, and especially our young kids come up here and they struggle with it, and they see what that level is and how they, I mean, you've got to be great on bottom. There's no way you can be a great wrestler and not be good on bottom, and they, they realize it. It reinforces what we tell them all year long. So that's one of the big reasons we come to this tournament. I mean, we, we drive by a lot of matches coming up here to the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania, um, and that, that's one of the reasons. I mean, there's just no bad kids out there. It's deep. This tournament, you know, obviously being unique, the out of bounds, that's not typical either. Nope. Is there any adjustments you can make? Did you try and stress that, you know, the week coming in? Yeah, we do some situational stuff just to get them aware of you got some extra room. But, I mean, I really don't think it changes a whole lot. Once you get that awareness in the kids' mind and we remind them before they go out there, it's still wrestling. They just got more room to wrestle. Um, so I, I really think it makes it easier for them to wrestle. They don't have to drag toes. They don't have to worry about scoring on the edge. They just wrestle until they're out of bounds. So I actually think it makes it easier for the kids, and it's it's not a hard adjustment to make at all. You drove up here, right? Yep. Is this as a trip like this worth it? Absolutely. Um, I mean, you you got to get kids out of the state. I mean, it's a, they're different styles um, in different locations in the United States, and for kids to see those styles, sometimes it's to let them know, all right, what they where they're kind of lacking in their own game too. But they always bring home technique from guys that they're watching, and I mean, we got a bunch of our young guys are sitting out there watching the round of 16 and they're taking notes man and that's when you know you got a good thing running those kids are out there and they're already out of the tournament and they're trying to improve and get better so as a coach that was something I was pretty happy to see. I know years back you know talking you guys went to the NHSCA instead yep. of this because there was more matches to be wrestled there sure. for you guys because they were divided in age group you know freshman sophomore junior senior this is just throwing everybody <laughs> into it and it's you know it's a tougher tournament obviously now you guys have kind of changed that mentality. You're ready to step up to the big stage, I feel like. Is the state of Georgia going to continue on the upswing? Oh, man, there's some great people in Georgia. One of the reasons NHSCA did so well, um, Dustin Kyle and his group at TWA, they did a phenomenal job. They do a real good job training program. They they get a bunch of kids together, and a lot of those guys you saw placing was from one club right there. They do a great job, and uh, that's part of the reason we had so much success at NHSCA's. But it's just kind of a philosophy thing, man, why we come up here. And we saw it with some – because back when we used to go to NHSCA, our young kids did really well. Um, they competed with just freshmen, so maturity-wise, our, our kids know how to wrestle. They're pretty, they're pretty tough kids, and they would have some success. But really, they still got a lot of growth to make because they come up here, and obviously, we, they get their head kicked in. So they almost had a false sense of security. They go to a national tournament, and kind of the rationale. Well, I'm all American, and we had some problems motivation with our young kids because they had so much success in the national tournament, young. So. It's another one of the reasons why we come up here. So they take some bad lumps and bruises and they come home ready to, ready and motivated to take that next step. And I mean, it, it really does. Say, telling your kid, man, you come up here and go two and two for a young kid, that's a great tournament. And, uh, I think it's something we've kind of lost with wrestling is you have to place or you have to win everywhere you go. Well, I mean, it's really not. Wrestling's a journey. I mean, at the highest level, it's normally the people that's wrestled the longest. So you just got to get kids comfortable making that journey. So we try and put them in this tough of tournaments as we possibly can so they can see that level because when they see how high the level is and then, then there's something they can jump up to there's something they're striving for and uh, that's when kids make the improvement when they feel like there's levels above them so we're going to put them in front of the toughest kids we can and just change the definition of what success means for a young age and I mean and then of course we've got our young kids that are ready to come out here and compete with these guys and they're wanting to bring trophies and medals home and 
and we'll throw them in there with the college guys and let their heads get kicked in. So uh, that's kind of one of our philosophies, man. We want to keep that level of competition a little bit over everybody's head so there's something they're striving for. That's one of the ways we kind of try and combat kids getting complacent and a little bit of burnout too is everybody loves learning and adding and getting better and when you keep that the incentive about improving and not worrying about bringing the trophy home or the All-American status or the belt or whatever crazy awards you're getting at the tournament, it's about improving, man, then there's no limit to it. So that's something that I think about a lot as a coach. You win the tournament, all right, great. Well, there's another tournament after it. There's another match after it. So if really your goal is to come here and win Flow Nationals, that should be it. You should be done wrestling and competing after that. Everybody's goal is higher than that. Everybody's thinking NCAAs, Olympics, and that's their goal. So this should be a learning opportunity. You should come to Flow Nationals and leave a better wrestler. And, and that's what we're trying to set up for our kids, or NHSCAs, or wherever you, people are choosing to go. So that's one of the reasons we try and find the toughest tournament, because it's, it's really not about winning the matches. I mean, of course, we want to win them, and we work really hard to do it, but it's a learning experience, man, because our biggest thing is we want those kids to have something left, and we want them to achieve that highest goal, so we're not going to try and use them up early so they're ready for NCAAs and hopefully the Olympics one day. I look at this club, compound wrestling. You guys got two sites. Yep, two sites, one in it's, Buford, one in Dunn. It's grown by leaps and bounds, you know, since I started talking to Cliff, you know, yeah. six, seven years ago. It will continue to grow by leaps and bounds. Uh, you know, and I think that kind of goes with the theme of how Georgia is getting better. Absolutely. It feels like you guys are expanding the sport down there. Absolutely, man. Like I said, there's a lot of great people involved. The organization's great. Team Georgia does a really good job with the youth wrestling and freestyle and Greco program. I mean, I'd put up their tournament system with anybody in the country. It's so organized, online registration. We've got great numbers. Numbers are always growing up. There's new clubs popping around every, every all over the place, man. You're you're just about within an hour and a half drive and you can get to somebody that coaches full time and now we're having college guys go out and have a lot of success and come back and start coaching high schools too so our level of high school coaching is really improving and man as a state it really is growing it's getting better and better and I'm excited to see it keep growing got a lot of good people down there